Kingdom. Once upon a time, there was a young girl called Laifa. She was different from any other girl in the village of Obiti. It is said that the day she was born, a large rainbow was seen in the sky, and the air was clean and the grasses were greener. Kun, her father, was a lowly palm wine tapper, and former, her mother, was a fruit seller. Kun, a personable man, effortlessly drew people to him with his warm demeanor. Its hands, weathered by years of scaling tall palm trees, mirrored the tradition of his ancestors. Who former, on the other hand, had gained recognition throughout the marketplace as an enterprising woman with a taste for the finer things in life. For 16 years, they had yearned for a child to bless their union. Time unraveled like a story, and gossip akin to a breeze circulated. Some labeled a former a witch who had consumed her offspring. Our Lord has branded Okon as a weak man for resisting the idea of taking a second wife until Lifa arrived. Lifa's hair was very long at that. She had mesmerizing eyes as though possessed with a magical allure. And they did. In the sunlight, her hair takes a bewitching sheen, each curl telling a story of its own. The more you stared at it, the more it sucked you in. It was enchanting. Each time she accompanied her mother to the market, a hush would fall as men and women turned in awe. Her beauty drew admiration both from the old and young. This made many villagers to extend free gifts and small favors her way. Among the women, there was a longing for a beauty like hers even among their own daughters. Forma found herself asking for more favors for her daughter's beauty. Sometimes it was a bowl of fish or even a basket of carrots. As the day passed, O Forma's demands increased. As a woman who loved the finer things in life, she found herself suddenly drawn into a life of wealth and riches. Not too long, Laifa also began to make her own demands. The seed that will bet an evil tree and ultimately doom her daughter were being sown. As Laifa grew, into her teenage years, she had become so entitled, a stark contrast from the little life the women of the village once admired. Her beauty brought her and her family wealth and admiration. Men from far and wide wanted her hand married. Okon's house was always filled with visitors and suitors. Lifa's charming beauty had morphed into a cage of loneliness. She felt better than the other girls from the village. She couldn't be seen around them and they also felt the same way towards her. She has too much ego and she's not even a princess, some of the girls echoed. Resentment was brewing in the dark. Some of the girls would smile and praise her openly, only to grumble and gossip once they got home. Little did life and know that her new behavior would lead her down paths she never imagined. One fateful morning, as she delicately combed her hair before the mirror, the long strands began to fall more than usual. With each stroke of the comb, it seemed as if the very essence of her beauty was receding. Life I was overwhelmed and shocked. The more strands that fell, the more she aged in her appearance. Mama, my hair is falling off, she screamed. The former ran into her room and was immediately taken by surprise with what she saw. She was scared, but she needed to look strong for her daughter. I'll take care of it, she reassured her. That night, Ufoma slipped away with a strand of her daughter's hair, hastily making her way to the river at the edge of the forest. She carefully laid the strand on the water surface and called out to the river goddess. My daughter's hair is fading. Her beauty is fading. This cannot happen. Who will bring us gifts? You promised to give me a child that will bring good fortune to us when I came to you after 16 years. Ukon's hands are no longer strong enough to tap the trees and I cannot be a fruit seller anymore. Ufoma cried out. The river goddess, known as Mame Water, emerged from the river holding a big black clock. Elekero G. It was quarter to midnight, showing Ufoma that life as beauty was almost done. You did not tell me about this, Ufoma said. She pleaded with Mame Water to extend her daughter's time. Unfortunately, even I cannot control the Elekero G. 
But I will grant life a three wishes. They will slow down the clock, but it will surely run out. These are the consequences of the gifts she is giving. Mami Water explained. O former tanked the river goddess and immediately dashed back to her daughter. Make three wishes and you will get your beauty back, she told Lifer. 